The EBRC Jaguar, or shortly Jaguar, has the challenge of being the successor of the legendary ERC90 and AMX 10RC. It has many superior features compared to its predecessors, but it also brings some contradictions. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Jaguar, the symbol of the changing French tactical thought on armored reconnaissance vehicles. The EBRC Jaguar is named after the initials of the French words Engin Blondy de Reconnaissance et de Combat, which means Armored Reconnaissance and Combat Vehicle. It incorporates many state-of-the-art technologies and superior design features, making it a competent combat unit. Yet, this feature also disadvantaged the Jaguar compared to its predecessors. In 2009, the French army began seeking possible replacement for the AMX NRC and ERC-90 Sage reconnaissance and fire support vehicles and VAB Mephisto, also known as VAB Oat anti-tank vehicle. After considering many alternatives, the French Weapons Procurement Authority, Delegation Générale pour l'Armement, decided to continue with a 6x6 vehicle with a man turret, combining a main weapon system with a missile. France wanted its major defense companies to cooperate on this project. So, in 2014, Renault Trucks Defense, today's RQ, Nexter, today's KNDS France, and Thales formed the EBMR Consortium. EBMR stands for Engin Blonde Multirole, which means multi-role armored vehicles. It would develop and produce not only the EBRC but also the VBMR, which would replace the VAB Wheeled Armored Personnel Carrier and its derivatives. These two vehicles would share 70% of their common components to reduce development, production and maintenance costs and facilitate logistics. They would also be based on a commercial all-terrain truck chassis and use a standard commercial truck engine to further minimize expenses. RQ is in charge of mobility in the EBMR consortium, which means developing and producing technology from the wheel drive to the exhaust, including the chassis axle, suspension, etc. KNDS France is responsible for the armored hulls, ballistic and anti-mine IED protection, CBRN equipment, internal architecture and final assembly. Thales is in charge of Scorpion Vetronics, the communication, vision, cell protection and navigation systems. In 2014, the names Griffon for the VBMR and Jaguar for the EBRC were revealed. In 2018, Belgium also chose Jaguar to replace its Piranha 3 based reconnaissance and fire support vehicles. The EBMR delivered the first batch of 20 Jaguar in 2021. 18 were the first African Chasseur Regiment, which was in charge of training of all the regiments with this vehicle. This vehicle is fitted with the French Army's Scorpion Combat Information System, allowing troops to share battlefield information. The Scorpion gives the Jaguar an efficient joint operation capability with the Leclerc main battle tanks. VBMR Griffon, VBMR L Serval, VBCI, VBL Armored Vehicles, and Cizal Self Propelled Howitzer in a network centric warfare structure. Thanks to this combat information system, the Jaguar can also establish a direct liaison with the light aviation of the French Army's helicopters. The vehicle also has the Thales Topaxis Inertial Measurement Unit, which provides accurate localization and pointing information and autonomous navigation capabilities including in global navigation satellite systems denied environments. For long reconnaissance missions, the Jaguar has air conditioning and heating for comfort and electrical device for reheating food and heating water for tea or coffee. The French military doctrine prioritizes speed and mobility over armor in terms of survivability. The Jaguar was designed according to the same principle. The vehicle has a higher power-to-weight ratio and better maneuverability than ERC-90 and AMX NRC. Hydropneumatic suspensions and the central tire inflation system offer high off-road mobility. The rear wheels are also steered to reduce the turning radius to 17 meters. The non-amphibious Jaguar has a 1.2 meter fording capability. The multi-fuel Volvo D11 turbo diesel engine is housed in a soundproof compartment which makes the vehicle extremely quiet. Since it's located at the rear, an infrared sensor cannot detect the Jaguar from the front. The whole power pack can be changed in less than 4 hours. The Jaguar also has a diagnostic system to ease maintenance and repair work. 
During the deployment on the road, the vehicle switches to 6x4 drive. It can be transported by the A400M aircraft. The hull and turret are made of aluminum and covered with a highly advanced steel, ceramic and aramid fiber armor plates. They can withstand 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds and shell splinters. Ballistic protection can be increased via add-on armor packages and cage armor. The hull's belly reflects the blast effect outwards. The Jaguar can withstand the detonation of a landmine containing explosive equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. The vehicle can operate in a CBRN environment. Thanks to its hydropneumatic suspensions, the Jaguar can adjust its height. The driver can shelter the vehicle behind the cover, lower it to let only the surveillance systems protrude or raise it to engage the enemy. The Jaguar is equipped with the Thales Barrage radio and infrared jamming equipment. When an incoming missile or rocket is detected, the Galax countermeasure system, which provides 360 degree coverage, automatically launches smoke grenades in the optimum direction. They operate in relevant wavelengths of the electromagnetic spectrum. Alongside the Scorpion network-centric warfare capability, Jaguar's onboard Medtronics increase survivability by enhancing situational awareness. Their algorithms offer the crew several options for dealing with a threat, allowing them to opt for the one they deem most adequate for the situation. With the Scorpion system, the Jaguar can instantly receive and process information from the other vehicles. Thus, the gunner can automatically direct the turret toward a possible threat even though the vehicle's sensor cannot detect it. Furthermore, one Jaguar can automatically launch countermeasures to protect another vehicle if its location and field of fire are better than the vehicle in danger. The commander and gunner have the PASU all-digital optically stabilized panoramic sighting and fire control system, giving the Jaguar the hunter-killer engagement capability. Its target detection, recognition and identification ranges are 15.4, 7.6 and 4 km respectively. The fire control system is supported by a laser rangefinder that provides precise distance and target data up to a range exceeding 7 km. The PASU can image by sector, providing a high quality panoramic view and high contrast background when searching for hidden targets. It can automatically lock on and track a given target. Thus, the Jaguar can accurately engage moving targets while on the move. Its 40mm 40 CTAS gun fires telescoped ammunition, which has reduced overall length and similar ballistics to a traditional round of comparable mass. The ammunition also avoids the risk of damage to the projectile during the loading process and simplifies and increases the reliability of magazines and other feed mechanisms. The gun's maximum elevation angle is 45 degrees, which allows the Jaguar to fight low-speed aircraft. This also gives it an advantage in combat in urbanized areas against targets hiding on high floors. The vehicle carries 180 40mm rounds, 65 of which are ready to fire. The 40 CTAS can fire armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo tracer, the point detonating tracer and airburst tracer munitions. The first can penetrate over a 140mm thick rolled homogeneous armor steel at 1.5km. The 40 CTC has a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute. The Acuron MP anti-tank missile can destroy a tank at up to 5 km. Its beyond line of sight capability enables it to strike targets hiding behind an obstacle. Thanks to its dual-way data link, the missile can change targets in flight. The Jaguar carries 4 Acuron MPs, 2 ready to fire. The vehicle has a T3 Ornet S remote control weapon station armed with a 7.62mm Mag 58 machine gun and 550 rounds of ammunition ready to fire. The vehicle's only current variant is the Jaguar kiosk for driver training. The Jaguar has a three-person crew consisting of a commander, gunner and driver. It has a length of 7.8 meters, a width of 2.99 meters and a height of 2.8 meters. The vehicle's combat weight is 25 tons. The 500 horsepower Volvo D11 turbo diesel engine provides a road speed of 90 km per hour. Its range is 800 km. The Jaguar can negotiate 0.5 meter vertical steps. It has one 40 mm 40 CTAS autocannon, one 7.62 mm Mac 58 machine gun, and two Acuron MP missile launchers. On paper, 
The Jaguar is a perfect armored reconnaissance and combat vehicle with its state-of-the-art weaponry and vetronics. But nothing is perfect. Even though its general design and subsystems seem competent, some details in its design concepts may cause problems. The 40 CTAS has a high elevation angle and can fire point detonating tracer and air burst tracer munitions, making it highly efficient against low speed air targets. This capability is essential now since drones have become one of the most dangerous threats to land vehicles on the modern battlefield. Yet it is not the ultimate solution and cannot deal with this new flying menace alone. Besides, 40mm telescope rounds are still new and a few countries have chosen them. The limited number of users make the munition considerably expensive. Furthermore, the fact that only a limited number of manufacturers produce them might cause supply problems in a possible war. And even though telescoped ammunition is perfect on paper, it has not been battle tested. It carries the risk of unanticipated shortcomings. Compared to 90mm and 105mm guns of the ERC-90 and AMX-10RC, the Acuron MP can penetrate thicker armor from a longer distance. However, this capability comes at a higher cost. Spending an expensive anti-tank missile to stop a cheap Toyota pickup is unnecessary. Unlike many of its counterparts, the Jaguar does not have a coaxial machine gun. Therefore, the gunner must fire expensive 40mm munition against the lowest value targets, and the vehicle carries only 108 rounds. Thus, the Jaguar's state-of-the-art weapon systems might be unnecessarily expensive. Once, Panal was the biggest supplier of armored vehicles to African and South American countries that needed simple, low-cost but considerably effective systems. The Jaguar is replacing the French Army's ERC-90s and AMX-10RCs, but how many operators might choose it as the AML's replacement? Thus, China has become Africa's biggest supplier of armored vehicles in the last decade. Turkey plays aggressively in filling the market gap. Africa is still the primary operational area of the French Army. Due to the rising Second World War, France had to prepare its armed forces for a European conflict. However, the Jaguar is too sophisticated for operations in Africa and not sufficient enough for a total war in Europe. The Ukrainian experience has further shown that armored reconnaissance vehicles are only efficient in supporting main forces in large-scale battles, not fighting individually. In the next decade, the French army will have two brigades of Leclerc's and four brigades of Jaguars. Thus, its fighting capability depends on support vehicles, not main battle tanks, which might be a problem in a war in Europe. As we implied, Jaguar's state-of-the-art weaponry and vetronics would not offer a game-changing capability in a conflict in Africa, they would only cost more money. Also, remember that the economic problems caused several cabinet crises in France last year. A weapon system should be designed using a balanced combination of technical and economic parameters. According to our analysis, even though the Jaguar is technically a highly competent vehicle, the French planners may have overlooked the financial aspect. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.